protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, we've all heard about the terror attacks that took place yesterday, both in Berlin as well as the Russian ambassador to Turkey being shot in an art exhibition. But you might not have heard that there was another Russian diplomat killed yesterday. He was found dead from gunshot wounds at his home just hours uh, after the news broke of the assassination of the Russian ambassador to Turkey. Owen, do you have more on this? Well, obviously, um, the skeptics are wondering, is there a tie? Is there a link between these two deaths? Um, obviously, the link is the Russian diplomacy. Um, the uh, latest victim, Peter Polsh- Polshikov, 56, was discovered with a bullet injury to his head at his flat in Moscow. And uh, this is according to local media. So another Russian diplomat dead. That's two in the same day. Um, we know uh, that ISIS is basically saying they're going to come after Russia for trying to uh, spell their movement in Syria. Um, but perhaps is this related to that? Is this related to something else that we don't know of, or is this just a lone wolf attack? Uh, nonetheless, though, this it's it's funny because there seems to have been kind of a mainstream media blackout to this story, right? Despite the fact that obviously the well publicized story that we had the video of and everything got so much attention and rightfully so, um, but this. Um, Russian diplomat who was found dead kind of just gets swept under the rug. So, well, of course, this is taking place in Russia, though. So they're not going to just let this information fly free. You know, they don't have a free and open press, uh, regardless of, you know, how much we might appreciate what Putin is up to at times. But of course, you know, is, is someone trying to send him a message again here? You know, they they uh, assassinated their one of his closest friends his um driver was killed earlier mm, and then of right, course this happened right. when they were supposed to be holding talks to uh you know between Russia and Turkey so well there's a lot of questions about this obviously we don't have all the answers um we'll continue to monitor this at infowars.com but you know this story to me just really shouts uh, and of course on top of the gunman uh, in Turkey just tells you the crazy times that we're living in uh, you know, who knows what's next? Who knows who's trying to kill who out there? Uh, another R- Russian diplomat found dead. Um, right. This is I mean, this is just kind of going beyond the pale there of the mm. diplomatic protocol that people follow saying, look, you know what? We don't like what we're sending you a message. And so who ordered the hit, hit again? So a lot of conspiracy theories are floating around on the Internet of like, you know, was this guy tied to the CIA? Was he sent in by the rebels? Is he um, you know, Gulenis, like, what is it? So this is very interesting. And who knows if we're going to get any more information about this Russian diplomat. Uh, but something that we can move on to here, the Black Panthers actually held a human rights tribunal in Sherman Park in Milwaukee, some armed with guns. They marched mm-hmm. through the neighborhood to protest what they called the genocide <clears throat> of African Americans at the hands of law enforcement. Well, look at this. And, you know, these are these are issues that uh, are so polarized and it's even tough for us to cover this stuff um, without adding to the polarization of the issues because these the, these issues have been so politicized. But here's the thing about this. As you said, they're protesting what they're calling the genocide of African-Americans at the hands of law enforcement. I mean, to me, that is just absurd. As you can see the video here of them marching. Look, some of them are open carrying. I fully support that. You know what? I'm a Second Rights Amendment activist. None of them were violent, according to all these stories. Now, I completely disagree um, with the with the protests, the genocide of African Americans at the hands of law enforcement, we all know that there's problems in police. Believe me, I'm not going to sit here and tell you all the stories that I've had with police, okay? But if you're going to protest genocide against any group of people, you should be outside of the abortion clinics. I mean, this is such a joke. And then again, okay, here you go. This was said by, uh, I guess, the leader of this movement, the leader with the Revolutionary Black Panther Party, this is genocide. It can't go on. Any other country, any other people who would be declared as such, that comes from Dr. Ali Muhammad. Well, Dr. Too, Ali Muhammad. I mean, give me a break. Dr. Ali Muhammad, really? Well, I don't know who is okay. uh, in charge of their open carry policies there, but that's like a, the, the way they're even carrying those weapons is inappropriate. It's threatening. Well, Sheriff Clark might know something about that. <laughs> yeah. It's and a- he's a second rights activist. So again, I'm for their second amendment. I'm for their first amendment. Just get the protest right. That's all. Well, also, too, don't carry your guns through the street on your march in a threatening way. Let's move on to this uh, Mormon WikiLeaks website that launched. And say so this is a new online venue launched, and they they hope that they're going to have some transparency 
targeting what happens behind the scenes at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Well, and, and here's the thing. I wonder if this is something new that's going to catch on. Is this kind of a, a self cleansing thing, a self organic way of putting the eye on corruption or making people scared of being corrupt within organizations? Is this, you know, so now you've got Mormon WikiLeaks started by Ryan McKnight. Um, so is this something that we're going to see? This is to keep an eye on the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Is this something we're going to see popping up? And before we sign off, I think it's very important that we mention Pastor Andrew Brunson, who's been accused of being a member of a terrorist group. 23 years after establishing his church in Turkey. This is a man who has been pointed out for being a Christian, starting his church, hmm. and he is now being jailed and held against his will, unable to be in contact with his family. Our prayers go to Pastor Andrew Brunson. There is a petition you can sign to try to raise, raise awareness for this. Well, hopefully we can get the president's attention uh, off of his golf game enough to help these people. And thank you so much for tuning into the show tonight. We'll see you here again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. InfoWars Prime, where you can watch live high definition feeds of the Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind the scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. And if you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.